Welcome to Toro NSN's Training in 10, an innovative self-paced training module that allows you to get trained and get going. Today's training topic is a review of the diagnostics for VP. While this presentation is focused on Link's 3.0 versions and higher, the principles apply to all versions of Link's. Covered in this training in 10 is the utilities diagnostics. Within it, the communication check, the field update, the satellite information, the set satellite mode, and the station amps. The diagnostics are located in the utilities screen. This portion shows the available satellites to select from. You can do the diagnostics on the entire system or on individual satellites. This may be a slow process to do the entire system so select the specific group and satellites. So it is suggested to utilize the drill down feature to select a specific group satellite. If the facility has a large number of satellites, it is suggested to drill down into the individual group to select the specific satellite the diagnostic is to be done on. Once you have used the drill down process, you can select an individual satellite or multiple satellites that you are wanting to do diagnostics on. Once you have selected the individual satellites that you wish to do the diagnostics on by placing a check in the box, then you can select the diagnostic operation for that satellite. At the top of the list of the diagnostic operations is the communication check. The communication check can be accomplished with just a single execution. The other option besides single execution is the repetitive execution. This is going to send multiple commands to the satellite. After selecting the execution type, then you will click on the Start Operation button. When the operation starts, a command will be sent to the satellites and Lynx will wait for a reply. If it is successful, it will show here as a successful communication. If the operation fails, it will show here as well. If this occurs, check all the satellites if it is a consistent process then check the field interface unit if the field interface unit is working properly check the outputs to the field if that seems to be working properly check the satellite power supplies or the modem boards if only a single satellite fails then go directly to that satellite to make sure it is functioning properly. The next operation is the field update. This allows you to update the date and time in individual satellites. This could be utilized if you are replacing multiple timing mechanisms. The other option in the field update is to set the lead tone delay if you are utilizing a FIU radio link. To change this delay you go to the advanced hardware settings within links. 
The next diagnostic operation is the satellite information. This retrieves information from the selected satellite or satellites. It also allows you to reset the satellite statistics information by placing the check in this box before you start the operation. The next diagnostic operation is to set the satellite mode. This allows you to set the mode of a satellite from the central. You can set the mode to central mode. This allows the satellite to now accept downloads. If the satellite is set at local mode, it will not accept downloaded information. The off selection stops all usage of the satellite faceplate from field operation. The last diagnostic operation for Network VP is the station amps. This allows the user to read the last station amps and its tolerances set within the satellite. It also allows the user to read the last amp fault and allows the user to reset the amp faults for the selected satellites. There are other features on this diagnostic screen as well. You can print the displayed information from this screen. You can also export this information in an HTML, PDF, text, or in an Excel spreadsheet file. It also allows you to sort the operational results by selecting a column and moving it to this area. It also allows you to utilize the sort capability at the bottom of the screen. You can sort this information by each of the column titles or you can unsort by the utilization of this area. The other tools allow you to hide the polling information for easier viewing of that information or to auto scroll the information as it becomes available. Well, another 10 minutes have gone by and you have just completed another episode of NSN's Training in 10. Today's topic has been Network VP Diagnostics for Links. We hope that this Training in 10 lesson was helpful for you to better understand this helpful tool and that it helps further enhance your career working with the number one irrigation central control product available. The Toro Links System. Be sure to keep looking for future installments of NSN's Training in 10, the self paced training module that allows you to get trained and get going. If you have any questions about this or about future training module releases, or if you would like to participate in one of our acclaimed Toro Links regional training classes, please contact us by calling 888-676-8676, option 2. Once again, that's 888-676-8676, option 2. Toro NSN Training also invites you to follow us on our Twitter site so that you can get the latest updates on where we are, what we're doing, and the new training opportunities for you to participate in. 
You can find us at twitter.com forward slash at Toro NSN Training and send us a request to follow. Toro NSN Training is proud to offer NSN Focus Training. It is personalized irrigation software training. It has two options available. The first one is online, one to two hour blocks, topic specific, conducted over the web. The second is in person, either a half or a full day block addressing multiple topics at your facility with your staff. For information, call 888-676-8676, option 2. Toro and Toro's National Support Network. Count on it. <laughs>